Hi everyone, this is Packtalk Bold, the newest generation of the world's best motorcycle communication system. And this video will show you all its latest tips and tricks. Hold on to your handlebar, we're about to begin. Hey Cardo, music on. Reviewers around the world called it the foolproof choice, the leader of the pack, the best comp system for 2017 and for 2018. The reason? DMC, Dynamic Mesh Communication, an intercom technology that leaves all other Bluetooth communication systems of any brand far, far behind. And with this new pack talk bolt, we're making it even better. New high definition sound experience, new man machine interface, new app to run it, but above all else, the world's first natural voice operation. Just tell it what you want and it will do the rest. We will kick off this video with a quick unboxing of Packtalk Ball's brand new packaging. We will explore its main features and go over its revolutionary natural voice operation. We will guide you on how to install it on just about any helmet. And finally, we'll go through troubleshootings, frequently asked questions and next steps. Let's rock. Packtalk Bold comes neatly packed inside a compact box that includes either a single or, like in this case, a dual set. Let's open it and see what's inside. Open the box by pulling the side flap. Beneath the cover, you'll find a blister containing either one or two Packtalks. Remove the blister to reveal the documentation envelope underneath it. Inside the envelope, you'll find a pocket guide, warranty and safety document, and installation instructions. The bottom of the box contains either one or two accessory boxes. Inside of them, you'll find all the parts and fixtures you'll need to install Packtalk on your helmet. A Packtalk accessory box should contain standard audio kit to mount Packtalk on your helmet, a set of two high definition 40 mm speakers, hybrid boom mic for open-faced and modular helmets, wired mic for closed-faced helmets, extra sponges for your microphones, a set of two speaker booster pads, USB cable and wall charger, four Velcros, two square and two rectangulars, a glue plate for attaching your audio kit on certain type of helmets, and two alcohol pads for cleaning. We'll explain how to use them later on. That's it, let's move on. Out of the box, Packtalk Bolt comes with three activation buttons controlling media, phone, and intercom. It also has a back roller for controlling volume. Press it to pause or stop whatever audio you're listening to. But forget about buttons. Hey Cardo, music on. Music on. Hey Cardo, next track. Hey Cardo, volume up. Hey Cardo, battery status. Battery status, 15%. I think we're still good to go. Hey Cardo, music off. Music off. Let's start the tutorial. To turn your device on or to shut it off, press the media and Hello, phone buttons together. DMC intercom mode. Goodbye. Now let's go into the business of pairing. Packtalk Bold has two downward pairing channels for pairing up to two mobile devices, such as a mobile phone and a GPS. On the upward side, Packtalk Bold can pair it to a group of up to 14 other DMC enabled devices, including smart packs, pack talks, Smart Ages and Packtalk Slims. It can also bridge in any Bluetooth only device of any brand via a bridge functionality. Switching Packtalk Ball to Bluetooth only mode will allow you to pair it with any other Bluetooth communication system via two intercom pairing channels. To pair a mobile phone, press the phone button for about 5 seconds. Mobile phone 1 pairing. 
on your mobile phone Bluetooth screen, search for PackTalk and pair it. Paired successfully. Pairing a second mobile device is almost similar. Press the phone button for about five seconds. Mobile phone one pairing. Then double tap the phone button to switch to second mobile pairing channel. Two pairing. Proceed with the pairing process on your mobile phone. Paired successfully. For GPS, use the second pairing channel as described previously. Mobile phone one pairing. Mobile phone two pairing. And then swipe the roller forward. GPS pairing. Continue with pairing process on your GPS. Paired successfully. Now that we got that part covered, let's start using our voice. Just remember to say Hey Cardo. For example, to activate music. Hey Cardo, music on. Music on. Hey Cardo, volume up. Hey Cardo, volume down. Hey Cardo, next track. Hey Cardo, previous track. Hey Cardo, volume up. Hey Cardo, mute audio. Hey Cardo, unmute audio. Unmute audio. Hey Cardo, music off. Music off. You can also use buttons. Click the media button to start music playing. Play with the volume. Click again to move a track forward. Double click to move backward. Stop music. Now let's play some radio. Hey Cardo, radio on. Radio on. 82.5. Hey Cardo, next station. 89.9. Hey Cardo, previous station. Hey Cardo, radio off. Radio off. You can also use buttons as well. To access radio via buttons, double tap the media button. Then, like music, nine. press once to move to the next station. 87. Or twice to move back to the previous one. 89.9. Perform auto scan by pressing and scrolling the roller button. 77.2. Press the media button once to stop the auto scan process. Press it again to save the station. 78.8. You can also toggle between radio and music by pressing the media button for two seconds or until you hear the second beat. Got a phone call? Just say answer. No need to say hey Cardo. Want to ignore that call? Just say ignore. But these are not the only thing you can do with your phone. Want to initiate a call? Say hey Cardo, redial number. Redial number. If you happen to have an often used number, you can add it through the Cardo Connect app or through the Cardo community. Just say, hey Cardo, speed dial. Speed dial. Missing your smartphone personal assistant? Just call her name. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Call home. Calling home. If you're using Android, just say OK Google, wait for the phone to beep, and then ask whatever you want. Of course, you can do all these things using simplified button operations. To answer incoming call, press any button. To reject, press any of the three front buttons for two seconds. To ignore an incoming call, 
quickly swipe the roller both ways, and the caller would never know you had better things to do. You can choose to share an active call with the members of your writing group by pressing the intercom button. This function works in DMC mode. More details on that later on. To end an active call, click either the roller, phone or media buttons to access your smartphone's personal assistant. Click the phone button once, don't forget to wait for the beep. Call 1-800-488-0363. Calling plus 1-800-488-0363. Double click the phone button to redial a number. Press it for two seconds or until you hear the second beep for speed dial. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. The very thing that separates Pack Talk from the rest of the pack, the group intercom. Back in 2004, we pioneered the motorcycle Bluetooth market with Scala Rider. We learned a lot during those years, and one of the things we learned was that Bluetooth is limited. So in 2015, we decided to reinvent the market once more and introduced DMC, Dynamic Mesh Communication. Unlike other Bluetooth units, this DMC Pack Talk creates a living connection. It wants to make friends, it adapts. If a rider or two leave the group, all the other units will work together to leapfrog the signal and keep everyone connected. When those riders return to the range, they are automatically connected. Simply put, DMC powered Pack Talk Bold makes Bluetooth frustrations a thing of the past. Just connect it once and forget about it. Packtalk Bold will do the rest for you. And don't worry about other Bluetooth devices of any brand. Packtalk will connect with them as well. Now, let's make some connections. We will use four Packtalks for this example. It's the exact same process for two, three, or 15 devices. Make sure your Packtalk flash green. This means they are in DMC mode. We will explain more about this later. To set a group intercom, press the intercom button on all the group devices for 5 seconds That's or open. until you hear the third beep. All devices flashing? Good. Now, press the intercom button once on one of the devices which will now act as the group admin. Wait a few seconds for all the devices to connect. Grouping success. And that's it. Really, that's it. It will stay connected during the day and it will stay connected when you power the unit back on the following day, the following week, or the following year. Now, let's say you want to change the group, perhaps add a few members. No prob. Remember that admin unit? Activate grouping on both the new unit and the admin by pressing the intercom Start button grouping. for 5 seconds or until you hear the third beep. When grouping mode is activated, press the intercom button only on the admin unit. Wait a few seconds for the two units to group. Congratulations, you just increased your group from four to five. DMC is not an exclusive club. You can also bridge Bluetooth units into the DMC party. Let's see how. First step, pair the Bluetooth unit to your PackTalk bulb. Switch your PackTalk to Bluetooth mode by pressing the intercom and phone buttons together. Please, uh, make sure music streaming is turned off before switching modes. This unit Bluetooth should now flash blue, intercom. meaning no. it is in Bluetooth mode. Activate Bluetooth pairing by pressing the intercom button for 5 seconds or until you hear the Rider third beep. Activate the other unit's Bluetooth pairing and let them pair. PackTalk has universal pairing, which means you can pair it with any Bluetooth headset of any brand. More universal pairing later on. Good. The two units are now paired in Bluetooth. Toggle PackTalk back to DMC mode by pressing the intercom and phone DMC buttons intercom. together. Make no. sure the indicator light switches from blue to green. Back in a DMC group intercom, click on that intercom button and your preset Bluetooth bridge is now a part of the party. Please note that a bridged unit needs to be in close proximity. Bridging works best in a rider to passenger scenario. Now, let's explore some tips and tricks to enhance your group intercom experience. Having a long lost pal calling you? Answer. 
share that active phone call with the rest of the group. Just press the intercom button while the call is active and get that person into the conversation. Like to have a private chat with any particular member of the group intercom? Select that member through the Carter Connect app first and then double click the intercom button to toggle between private and group chats. Want some peace and quiet from the chatter? Click the roller for two seconds or until you hear the rolling beep to enjoy an intercom free ride. Click on that roller again for two seconds to unmute the group. Let's say you meet your friends and discover you're the only one with a DMC powered device. Not to worry. PackTalk also acts as a fully blown Bluetooth intercom. Let's see how. Toggle PackTalk to Bluetooth mode. Don't forget to check indicator light turns Bluetooth blue. Bluetooth intercom mode. Your PackTalk is now a Bluetooth intercom unit. Press the intercom button for five seconds or until you hear the third beep to start mobile pairing on channel one. Activate Bluetooth intercom pairing Rider on the A other device pairing. and let the two pair. Paired successfully. When paired, press the intercom button to open an intercom channel and again to close it. To pair another Bluetooth device on channel 2, open the second channel pairing by pressing the intercom button for 5 seconds or until you hear the third beep and then double tap the intercom button to activate Rider the second channel pairing. pairing. Activate Bluetooth intercom pairing on the other device and let the two pair. Paired successfully. When paired, double-click the intercom button to open an intercom channel and double-tap again to close it. You can of course add more devices in this fashion, creating a long Bluetooth daisy chain. If you'd like to learn more about this, watch our 4-way Bluetooth pairing video on the Cardo channel. Please note that this type of Bluetooth connection also applies for non-Cardo Bluetooth intercoms. For universal pairing, watch the universal pairing tutorial at the end of this video in the frequently asked questions section. That's it for now. To make the most out of your pack talk bolt, grab the pocket guide and look inside. This tutorial will cover both closed faced, open faced and half helmets. We'll kick off with an open faced helmet. For more information, you can always refer to your installation guide that came in the box. Our first step would be to remove the inner cheek pads to reveal the ear cavities inside. Once you located the inner ear cavities, take the alcohol pad and clean each ear cavity. Grab a square Velcro and attach it to the base of the ear cavity. Repeat the process for the other cavity. Now we've finished preparing the ear cavities, let's go ahead and install the speakers. Note that your speakers have a short left side and a long right side. We will take care of the left side first. Attach the speaker to the Velcro with the cord facing the neck pad. To ensure optimal radio reception, please follow the next step. Remove the head padding and run the long speaker cord through the top of your inner helmet all the way to the other side. Attach the right speaker in its place and return the padding. The long cord will now act also as your FM antenna. If your ear cavities are just too deep, use one of these spacers to make sure the speakers are correctly placed. Simply attach the spacer to the Velcro and place the speaker on top of it. Now let's install the microphone. Open the second alcohol pad and thoroughly clean the left side helmet cheek. Grab a rectangular Velcro and glue it to the base of the cheek. Grab the second rectangular Velcro and place it about 5 cm or 2 inches away towards the cheek opening. For open faced and modular helmets, use the supplied hybrid boom mic. Note the base, the middle clap on, and the yellow triangle near the boom. Watch this yellow triangle, it should face your mouth. Attach the base of the mic to the first Velcro and adjust the clap to fit the second Velcro. Finally, Adjust the boom to meet your mouth with the yellow triangle facing you. Installing a microphone on a closed-faced helmet is a little different. Use an alcohol pad to clean the chin area. Take the corded mic unit, detach it from the Velcro, and glue the Velcro to the chin area. Attach the corded mic 
and run the cord along the left side rim of your helmet. Now is the time to attach the audio cradle. This is a standard audio kit. Behind it, you'll find a flexible clip that should go between the helmet shell and the inner lining. Squeeze the audio cradle firmly into its place with the clip pushing on the helmet's inner shell. Some helmets have a thick rim, which is unsuitable for a clamp-based solution. Fortunately, the audio cradle can also be installed using a specially designed glue plate that came inside the box. Clean the designated area with an alcohol pad. Remove the sealing cover from the glue plate and attach it firmly into the lower left side of the helmet. Allow 24 hours for the glue to solidify. Now that was fast. Your Pactoc audio kit has a release slot. Use a sharp metal object to press in it and then push down on the clamp to remove it like this and replace it with a glue plate. Now let's connect all the wires. Okay, now that we got that covered, let's reinstall all the paddings to their original location. Congratulations, we've just finished installing the PackTalk Audio Kit on your helmet. Now for the very last step. Let's have a closer look. Your PackTalk audio kit has two sides, a connector side and a release tab. To insert your PackTalk, start with the connector side, like this, and then press firmly on the back side until you hear that click. To release PackTalk, push down on the release tab and your PackTalk is off. Installing your PackTalk on a half helmet is easy. Just make sure to have one of these half helmet kits first before continuing. The integrated boom microphone kit is available at any dealership. Depending on your half helmet, use either the clip-based or the glue-based solution. Attach the cradle and adjust the long boom to its correct position. Don't forget to place the yellow triangle directly opposite your mouth. Now, slide the speakers into their correct location. Don't forget to run the long cord through the top inner side of the helmet. Push the right speaker into its designated place. All right, we're pretty much done. Just please keep in mind that every helmet is different and may require some adjustments to the process you just saw. When in doubt, contact your local dealer for additional help. Just before you jump on and ride off with your new communication system, make sure to connect it to your computer and register it on the Carter community. Take the USB cable, connect it to your unit and connect the other side to your computer. Go to cartersystems.com. Go to support and click on the Carter Community link. Click on the enter link and sign yourself in. If this is your first time in the community, you'll have to register yourself first. Fill in your details and a valid email. We will send you a verification email to that address to complete your registration. Complete the optional personal detail page, fill in the CAPTCHA at the bottom and click on Submit. If this is your first time in the community homepage, you may be required to download and install the Cardo Updater app. Just click on the clearly visible icon on the top left of the screen and press on all the usual installation approval buttons. Did you remember to confirm your registration via the email we sent you? Give a few seconds for the community to recognize, sync and analyze your unit. Good news! There is a new firmware update available for your unit. Download and install it to upgrade your unit's performance and feature set. This whole process can take between 5 to 10 minutes, but with the miracles of digital video editing, we managed to squeeze it just slightly. Now, take the time to complete your personal profile and check the multiple settings options available for your unit. Use the designated place to fill in the device name, speed dial, preferred language, and radio stations. Sync your device to accept changes and import them to your device. That's it. Well, almost done, actually. One last step remains, download and install the Cardo app.
Parktokno is equipped with universal connectivity, which means it can connect to any one of these brands. Let's see how. To activate universal pairing, start by switching your Parktok to Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth in the tone mode. Then activate Bluetooth pairing and hit the phone button. Cardo gateway pairing. On whichever non-Cardo device you use, Start mobile phone pairing. This way you can pair a Sina or an Intaphone or a Euclear or any other brand you choose to use. You're talking over the phone or with your buddy through the intercom and they tell you they can't hear you very well. Something is wrong. Let's fix it. Look at the yellow triangle. Does it face your mouth? If it looks like this, well, you got to change it to be facing your mouth like this. You're riding down the road and the sound experience is not exactly what you've expected. Well, there's a solution for that. Let's see how. All free comms come equipped with high quality, high definition 40 mm speakers. But to get the most out of them, they have to be placed correctly, like this. Every person is different and your helmet's designated speaker cavity may not match the location of your ear. Put the speakers in your helmet. Put your helmet on top of your head and try to slide a finger inside and see if the speaker's location and your ear location match. If they do not, you may have to place the speakers outside of the speaker cavity to ensure best sound quality. Sometimes you just need a reset, and so is your unit. Luckily, we have two types of reset. Let's explore them. To reset all Bluetooth pairing, including mobile devices and Bluetooth intercom, start by switching your unit to Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth intercom mode. Activate Bluetooth intercom pairing. Rider A pairing. And then press both the media button and the intercom buttons. until you see the purple light flashes, and then the unit will turn off. For a complete factory reset, press the three frontal buttons for a few seconds until you see the purple light flashing. The unit will flash purple, and then it will shut off. Goodbye. That's it, we're pretty much done here. For further questions and queries, be sure to write us at support at cardassistance.com and follow our videos. Until then, enjoy your ride and be safe.